paintbrush is a unique type of paintbrush. It has a hollow barrel that you can fill with water and then you've got a constant water source when you're using watercolour, especially if you're painting out and about. But that's just one way to use them. Why not fill them with other inks? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill your water brushes, what to fill them with, and some tips on traveling with them and just having fun with them. At the beginning of this video, you saw the crazy amount of water brushes that I have. I love working with them. I've got all of the different brands. I've tried all the different sizes. My favorite is the Pentel Aquash. There are three sizes. I like to use the broad, which is the largest of them, for my watercolor. So I fill that with water and that's what I take out and about with me with my watercolor sets. I like to use fine for pens that I use mainly for writing. So I have particular inks that I mainly like to journal with. That's when I would use the fine. But the medium is my current favorite. That's what I'm using on screen here. I like to draw with that. All of the sizes have very, very fine points. So you can get a very fine line and then with a little bit more pressure, that's when you can get the slightly thicker line. If you are going to try other inks inside your water brushes, and why not, make sure after you finish using them, you always replace the lid so that the ink doesn't dry out and wreck the brush. So I have an Aquash water brush here. This is a medium Pentel one. I've got a little ink dripper. So there are various sizes that you can get. I'm just going to use this little one. And I have some of the ink that I want to try. Uh, just with any ink that you're going to try in the pen, always just give it a gentle little shake so that sediment that's down there in the bottom is dispersed all the way through the ink. Potentially it's the pigment that is settled in the bottom that might block the little infrastructure here and stop this from working. However, Without the pigment, there's not really much purpose in using the ink anyway. So if there is a lot of sediment in the ink that you're picking out to put in the pen, it's giving a potential risk factor uh, to say that it's just not going to be able to get through. But you can still try it. I mean, if it doesn't work, you can just pour the ink back in the bottle and clean your water brush out and try something else in there. I haven't tried this ink in my aquash before. Uh, you can just tip the bottle straight in there. Um, so this is quite a small little uh, dripper. And there is a little line here indicating how full you can uh, make your little aquash. If you go above that line, you're asking for trouble <laughs> uh, because there needs to be that little bubble of space so that if there's pressure put on it there's not immediate leakage it just helps the whole pen work better and then I'm just going to test to see if this works so I'm just giving that a light squeeze if the pen is working properly ink will come flooding down into here come flooding out of the tip we don't want it to be flooding like that all the time that's what happens when you squeeze uh, you get the ink going and now I've got gorgeous uh, ink to play with and it just gives such a totally different look to ink that you're using in a pen. This is another brush tip marker but the actual because this is an actual brush with individual hairs you get this actual brush marks which just look lovely now I've got all sorts of different inks in aquash and if you want to use different colors in them you can just undo this tip the ink back in the bottle that's why it's important to label things with a uh, permanent pen um, and you know, try different inks that are in there this one is 
Dynaflow in a colour called Sulphur, DNF. Now what can happen is the pen can feel uh, like too much ink is coming out. Now that's usually because someone, maybe you, <laughs> maybe someone else, may have given it a bit too much of a squeeze, too much ink has come down. Sometimes just gravity can make uh, ink uh, come down there. There's not um, some magical uh, <laughs> device in here that is regulating the ink. Um, so you just need to keep a little eye on the nib, just as you would with any paintbrush, just to see what the art material is doing. And if the nib starts to look very full with the paint, so try it, squeeze it and, and see how you can notice that. So what it looks like when it is full with the um, ink. What I do is tip my brush upside down and just give it a little bit of a tap on the end just so that the ink just runs back down basically. To store them I put them with the brush ends up and I like to label all of them just with little stickers so that I can see exactly what colour is inside. Also put little sticky labels on the barrel of the aquash as well and write the name because I've got a lot of them and it's impossible to remember what's in there. I like to try all fluid artist materials in them, things like Dilusions and all of the Distress products. Give them a go. They all work really well in there. My beautiful fine art inks from Liquitex, from Sennelier, Winsor & Newton, they all work beautifully. Some don't go through as well as others, you can just work that out with experimentation. And you can mix your own colours. So you're creating a set of brush tipped markers. These are a fun tool to travel with because you can carry so many beautiful colours with you. But they can leak, uh, especially turquoise. I don't know what it is about turquoise. But if there's anything that's going to link, leak in your bag, that is what will leak. If you're traveling by air, you're best to wrap them up and put them in your checked in baggage. Don't use them on the plane. So I just wrap that around, put the next pen in, put the next pen in. So then if it does leak, uh, I'm trying to protect the rest of my materials and also these. And then I just keep on adding in the colours that I want. In the end, I end up with sometimes a great big bundle. But then I've also got all of this paper towel that I can use and use to wrap everything back up again at the end. But I never... I've really enjoyed sharing some tips about how to use one of my favourite tools with you. I hope that you give them a whirl.